My name is William Pugh, and I'm a writer slash game designer. I put my game through to the uh, BAFTA Games Awards this year, and off the back of that, uh, after receiving a few nominations, uh, I got an email saying you should apply to the Breakthrough Brits, and I did, and now I'm here in this chair. Ah! What does it mean to me to be one of the Breakthrough Brits? Uh, an amazing huge amount. It's, it's crazy. It's quite insane, really. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of it, but uh, it's brilliant. It's a huge opportunity and one that leaves me obviously lost for words. <laughs> what do I hope to gain from Breakthrough Brits? Uh, notoriety, infamy, hatred throughout the industries, all the creative industries, uh, autographs. Did I say infamy? I said it, yeah, I said infamy. I think initiatives for kind of new and upcoming talent are so important to the industry because uh, most creative industries are dominated by people who are already established, people who are kind of proven and tested in their 40s, 50s, who are reliable. People who are investing money can say, oh, they've got a track record. I've, they've done a million productions like this before and we can invest and we can be safe and we can, we can make safe things that will return an investment. Whereas, uh, and the things that that gives access to, like networking and meeting people, uh, that's not really available too much to people who haven't yet kind of got their foot in the door. And I think that's something that Breakthrough Brits is all about, is uh, up and coming talent getting their foot in the door. I think the fact that Breakthrough Brits has got people from all different kinds of professions is going to be massively helpful. Because I think most creative industries, particularly games, I'd say, are have a bit of tunnel vision. They don't like to expand or touch anything in other kind of creative mediums, and I think this is going to be a really good opportunity for me to talk to real people. <laughs> when I was age five, I probably wanted to be a wizard or something like that. Uh, but over the course of my life, I've decided... Well, I've not really decided, really. I, it's not been an active decision that I've made. Like, I've never, I've never thought, I want to work in the creative profession. It's kind of been something that's happened almost by accident. And uh, I'm incredibly grateful for this marvellous accident that's happened. <laughs> I think I probably want to try my hand at acting or directing. I've been in a bunch of theatre stuff, uh, youth theatre and uh, national theatre connections. I'm a member of the NYT. And uh, that's always something I've, ha I've carried a bit of a torch for. And I'm so going to divert this whole program to give me an opportunity to just do that instead. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I'd say my next goal is probably to keep on challenging myself, to keep on applying myself to tasks that I don't really know how to do, like writing, like directing, like acting, and, you know, just to keep on developing myself as a kind of creative person, if that's not too much of a vague statement to say.